Mormons are native to Oklahoma, and we average about 18 million pounds of pecan production a year. We wanted to see how pecans are harvested. Becky Carroll is Oklahoma State's pecan specialist. She showed us around the research station and taught us about the harvest. Here at the research station, there are over 500 pecan trees on about 40 acres. These trees are used for research, testing, and education. The work here helps pecan growers improve production, control pests, manage diseases, and make decisions that optimize inputs and limit cost. One of the many innovations pioneered here is something known as crop load management. Pecan trees have a natural two-year production cycle where a big crop is followed by a small crop. Crop load management is a thinning technique that evens out annual production and produces higher quality nuts. The pecan trees look a little ragged right now. And that is because last year we had a big ice storm in October. The trees still had leaves and nuts, which added more ice weight and lots of limbs were broken. Once the pecans are ready, growers want to harvest them quickly. The longer they wait, the more pecans will be eaten by wildlife. A single crow or a single squirrel can take a pound of pecans per day. So how do we know when the pecans are ready? Miss Becky shows us. Alex, see right here, they have these shucks. The outside, that green part is called a shuck. And so when the nut is ripe, these shucks start to split open, and that shows that it's ready to come out. And so look at this one. You can just pull it out because it's ripe, and so it comes out of that shuck. So there's some nuts yep. in your ant. Yep, yep. This is called a Kansa. And Kansas. these are, um, and here's another one right here. But we don't want to wait for the wind to knock them out because the crows and squirrels would get them before us. So we're going to use a shaker to shake them out of the tree. Right. This shaker was made by Savage Equipment right here in Oklahoma. In fact, they are the world's largest pecan equipment maker. You'll see more of their equipment in this and future videos. Operators are careful not to shake the tree too hard because they don't want to damage the tree. Let's see it shake one more time. Watch how much the top limbs move. nuts that fall are good nuts. Sometimes pests eat them before we get the chance. Called stick tights. They have it opened up and some things cause them not to open properly. And so you can see those holes and that usually is an indication that a weevil was laid in there and then the larva fed on it and then they crawled out and hey. chewed a hole and dropped to the ground. So it's going to be chewed up on the inside but it's enough damage for them to not open up properly. Hole. So this was like right here, so you can see where the exit hole is. And then it's also got shuckworm damage 
where shuckworms fed on the on the shuck as well. So it's got two different kinds of insect problems. After the trees are shook, a tractor pulls a rake over the harvest area to remove large sticks or dead limbs that fell during the shaking. Then we walked through to remove any big sticks that the rake may have missed. Now the orchard floor is ready for the savage harvester. Here is how the harvesting machine works. These rubber-coated fingers sweep up the pecans off the ground. Then the fingers sling them onto this chain bed conveyor. Dirt can fall through the bottom and leaves and sticks get thrown out the back. But the nuts are separated out before that and, and fall into this auger. As the auger lifts them up, sticks and leaves get pushed through these grid bars. The pecans then fall into a collection hopper. When the hopper is ready to be dumped, it pulls along another machine, the pre-cleaner. to hold the nuts. A cleated conveyor lifts the nuts that then fall into an air blast. The air blows leaves, sticks, and other trash out of side discharge and the nuts drop on down to another cleated conveyor belt. That belt raises up the nuts and drops them into a trailer. Because of the need to harvest the nuts as early as possible, they often have to have too much moisture. Nuts, nuts should be dried to about 4% to protect quality. To do this, the trailer is equipped with a riser duct at one end. The trailer also has a false bottom with holes in it that allow airflow. A fan can be connected to the riser and air blown through the false bottom and up through the nuts. That air carries away moisture, drying the pecans. From here, the nuts will be trucked to a shelling plant. That is a pretty amazing process, too. I'll be taking you on a tour of a shelling plant on one of my upcoming videos. To get notified of that video and all of my future videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you liked this video, please hit the like button too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.